Pope John Paul II said that there is nothing man needs more than divine mercy. He said, it's the love that brings us past our weakness to the heights of the holiness of God. Man, I just love that image. The divine mercy brings us to the heights of the holiness of God. You know, think about that. Think about how it's not something we've earned. It's not something that, you know, because of what we've done, now we have God's mercy. Because mercy by its very definition means that it's undeserved. It's not something that you could ever earn. You know, and I think in my life, I've missed out on that fact. You know, and we're, we're fastly approaching the Feast of Divine Mercy. And I wanna invite you for the next week to really enter into the idea of Divine Mercy by praying the Divine Mercy Chaplet. There'll be a link below with information on how to pray that if you've never prayed it. But what I, what I think's important to remember when we think about God's mercy, it's not that we're pleading for his mercy. I used to, to look at that prayer and think about, you know, it's me asking God, you know, have mercy on me, a sinner. But really what it is, it's, it's entering into his life, into this mercy that he shared with us. You know, we're, we're not going to earn it. We're not going to deserve it. But we can enter in. We can rejoice that God is so merciful. You know, in some ways, it, if we look at it like we're pleading for mercy, it seems kind of silly that it's after Easter, the Feast of Divine Mercy. But it's after Easter because it's something that God wants to give to you. God wants you to receive his mercy today, to let your life be transformed. Now, too, I want to invite you to, to look at an image of divine mercy. And so often, uh, I don't know if you've seen that image, but it's, you know, it's like Jesus has these rays of mercy coming from his heart. A friend of mine shared with me that, that there's an image, one of the images of that is he's in front of darkness. And the darkness in the painting uh, is important because Jesus is always in front of it. There's no way to get to the darkness without going around Jesus. And I think in our lives, sometimes it's, it's easy to get to the darkness, but, but we have to remember that Jesus stands in front of that darkness. So today, when, when, we, when we're trying to go to that place, when we're, try, when we're feeling like, like we, we, we don't know what to do and, and, and we're choosing to do something that is not God, we're going around him. So I, I invite you today, don't go around Jesus. Enter into his mercy. And this week, as you pray the Divine Mercy Chaplet, allow mercy to transform you. Allow mercy to touch your heart and change your heart. God, thank you for your mercy. Help us to enter into that as we celebrate this Feast of Divine Mercy.